In today's video, I'm going to show you Autodesk's best kept secret, Fusion 360 within the A360 browser. Hey guys, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. Now, with the network version of Fusion 360 that we use at school, uh, our school websites have um, proxies and firewalls, and that uh, really plays havoc on us to be able to download the latest version of Fusion 360. So don't, don't panic, don't despair. You can still access your Fusion 360 files via the A360 um, website viewer in browser, and you can also do your designs using the browser. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to design and make a little drill press knob in Fusion 360 and 3D print it on your 3D printer. Let's get started. What I recommend is that you download and install Google Chrome. Uh, A360 appears to work uh, much better in Google Chrome than it does in the Safari browser or on the uh, generic Microsoft browser. So here we go, I'm gonna launch Google Chrome. And as soon as Google Chrome launches, I'm gonna type in A360 and hit enter. Now, there it is there, A360 home, and we need to sign in. Now remember, you'll need to sign in with your Autodesk um, email and password. Now the email is the email address you use when you first created an Autodesk account. So sign in, you can see mine, when mine loads, it will be my school address which is my government email, and click sign in. Now, once you're signing, you can close this first window here. Now, you need to open up a, a project. If you haven't got a project, you can create a project here, or you can go into your first project, and that's the one that uh, Autodesk gives you when you create an account. I'm gonna to go to my icon view here, and I'm gonna click this blue button here and go Fusion Design. Now, this will open the in-browser experience with Fusion. So the first thing we need to do, guys, is actually save your file before you start. I'm going to call this drill press handle knob save. Now, when you're using the in-browser experience, be prepared for a little bit of latency. It does lag occasionally. Um, you've got to remember, because you're doing this, uh, you know, obviously via the internet. So that you've got to expect some latency. Uh, we're going to click a sketch here today, and I'm going to do a revolve. So today I'm going to be, I'm just going to draw on the brown, on the brown plane there. Uh, alpha line, because I want to get my center line happening here today, and drag out, and I'm going to type in 25 millimeters, tab enter. Now, I'm going to escape out of that, because I don't want the line tool anymore. I'm just going to drag my dimension down, and I'm going to click fit, all right? Now, alpha line again, I'm going to draw up from here, snapping it up, snap it over to here, and down and you'll see it coming to a line, and boom. Okay, so you can see here now, guys, I'll just click Escape out of that, click my Fit button. Okay, so here we have it here. So I need to put some dimensions in, but the first thing I need to do is put a couple of constraints here. So on my knob, this line here is equal to that line, okay? I'm gonna put a dimension on this line here. Now. Uh, actually, I'll do this one first, D for dimension, this one here, and my one here is 20 is the diameter, but I want the radius, so it'll be divided by 2, and there we have it, D for dimension, I'm going to click this line here and bring it out, and that's 15.5 on the diameter, 15.5 slash 2, boom, there we have it, and now I believe that we need to put a angle on this around here. And that's got to be 141. And there we have it. So we can just tidy up these dimensions a little bit here now, guys. So bring him out a little bit. I like to get my dimensions looking nice and tidy. Um, I'm going to zoom to fit. And there we have it. So we can revolve that now to get my my um, solid model. So up in here, create, and we're gonna pick revolve. And Fusion is just, just like in the uh, downloaded version, guys, it's asked you to pick your profile and pick, pick your axes. So I'm gonna pick that profile, the axes, this one here. Click to select is that one. 
I want a 360 revolve, and I click OK. And click Save. OK, it's zoomed to fit. And yet, there you have it. You can see my knob is created. It's very simple. Using the in-browser experience and click my home view. Okay, so now I've got my solid model uh, contained here. I've got it made. I need to draw this hole there. So I'm going to click that face and C for circle. And snapping in the center there. And I drag a circle out. And because it's a tap thread, I'm going to go 6.25. So remember, if it's an 8 millimeter metric tap a th thread and the pitch is 1.25, just subtract it, it gives us 6.25. Click Enter. And E for Extrude. We're going to Extrude Cut that now. We're going to minus 25. And just like the, um, sorry, minus, tw um, that's 20, my mistake. Minus 20. And just like the downloadable version on your desktop, guys, um, Fusion is, it will preempt you. When you go negative, it's going to go, hey, you want to do a cut there, and click OK. Now we need to put our thread on, so we're going to go, first of all, save our work, just in case we drop out, click thread, and we're going to have a full length thread. I'm going to click the internal of that. I want an isometric profile. I want a 8 mil pitch, 8 mil diameter, sorry, with a 1.25 pitch. Click OK. And there we have it, guys. There's my completed model. So now I need to export this as an STL file so I can get it on my 3D printer and start making it. And to get to actually to do that, guys, you need to click File and you need to go Export. Now, that's a little bit different to the actual um, normal version of Fusion where you could actually um, go over to the right-hand side. So there's a few little options that they're working on. And I have it on good authority that um, Autodesk are going to to continue to develop this software, uh, the in-browser experience. I highly recommend that you give this a try. And by all means, make sure you give Autodesk some feedback. If you click up on here, you can provide them with feedback. You know, what is the score or ranking you would give them to recommend it to a friend? Um, I'm doing a video, so obviously I'm a high supporter of this. So I'm a fan of it, so I'd click 10. And once you click 10, you can fill in some feedback there and give it to Autodesk. They'd love to hear from you. Um, now, once again, to get that STL out, file, export, STL, and you can download that, and that will go into your downloads and bring it into Cura to, Cura to make it. So well, I can show that for you as well, if you like. If you just hang about here. I'm going to open up Cura. Okay, once Cura is open, we're going to go File, Open File, and I'm going to find that drill press handle knob that I just drew. And it might be in the wrong orientation. That's not a big deal. We can just rotate that around. And I'd, I'll be printing this today in the vertical position that way there. And I'm, instead of doing a solid, I'll probably do a dense. Um, and if you look at that, it's about a 46 minute print. All right, so let's export this G-code and um, let's take it over to my little printer and make it. So I was quite happy with the little Audi 3D printer for this uh, print and PLA today. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I did have to chase the thread with a um, with an 8 mil tap. But yeah, look, it's screwed on quite well. Now you're probably wondering uh, today, guys, why am I making this knob? Well, stupid me placed a large piece of aluminium on my top shelf. And uh, Butterfingers here, when I went to get something else, it dropped down and smashed the end of the, vi uh, end of the handle. Uh, you can see it like so. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.